Hello everyone, my name is Goldsmith and welcome back to Pikmin 3! Now, if you uh, are smart, and I'm sure you're all smart, but if you uh, have a keen eye, you will notice it says Day 4. Um, I already recorded this video, but my editing software was like, Ah, no, this file is too big. Like, I've been doing some weird stuff with the files of these videos, where they're just way too big, and... <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm talking like real big, like, like 10 terabytes, not terabytes, whatever, you, it, they're big. In the video I recorded, it ended up, I ended up losing a lot of Pikmin, like 30 or so, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I reset, and, and now it says 5 deaths, but I guess it's karma, because it's like, nah, you reset, yeah, now you have to reset the entire video. It was a pretty cool video too. Anyways, we're just gonna go back into day 3. And, yeah. You see, the part that sucked was that it actually ended up being a, a good video, too. Like, when I reset, I made this really funny joke where, um, it was like, I, uh, I had a vision. Or that's what I was gonna edit in. I would have a vision, like Shulk does, and I was like, Oh, a vision! And then I was gonna be like, wow, will you look at that? It looks like, uh... All of those deaths were not real, and it was actually just a vision. But that didn't happen, because I messed it up. Anyways, uh, we're gonna have to jump across this and do some stuff. Also, it's raining, and I learned just then that it's random when it rains or not, and that's really cool, because it didn't rain last time. There are materials for constructing a bridge on the opposite shore. If I work together with Brittany, I think we can get that bridge built. And that is what we will do. So, over here, there is a boss, um... That's how I lost so many Pikmin. I did it very terribly, though. So hopefully I can redeem myself now. I'm actually happy that you didn't see it. It was a loud video. I was screaming a lot. Like, way too much. Like, it's not even... <laughs> not even fit. Like, I'd have to do so many edits. But yeah, it, I, I was kind of, kind of, like, happy with the video. So it is kind of sad. But what can you do? Anyways, we're just gonna construct this bridge, get Alf over here, and then we're go- oh. The signal seems like it's coming from over there. We're just gonna break down this, get Alf over here, fight that boss, hopefully not uh, have too many casualties. Uh, and yeah, that's basically what we're gonna do today. There's also another fruit that I wanna get, um, that we can easily get. Uh, I'm gonna try to do that quick. And, uh, yeah. We'll see how everything goes. So I'll cut ahead to when this is all done and finished. This music is so calming. Oh my god. I'll let you listen to it for a bit. So chill. Anyways, onward. There's a data file right here. I wonder who put it there. Huh? What's a data file doing all the way out here? My search for treasure continues with no luck, but I can't fly back home to Hockettate without uh, procuring a few more precious artifacts. I'm sensing something valuable up ahead, but I'm also sensing danger. So if someone finds this data file, please send word to my son that I didn't make it. Captain Olimar, the captain from Pikmin 1 and 2. Captain Olimar? I can't say I've heard of him, but he's from Hokkotate, eh? He's in Smash, eh? That's not far from Kopai. Strange planet. I've heard that Hokkotatians will do anything to get their hands on treasure. And they eat vegetables, too. How bizarre. Poor fellow sounds like a friend to trouble up ahead. So yes, in this game, uh, Olimar is dead, just like Charlie is. Well, let's just go forward and... Hopefully not die. Oh lord, he coming! Oh lord! <laughs> okay. Here is the boss. He is quite scary. He looks more intimidating than he really is. But, oh. He is one spooky boy. We gotta run though, because uh, he is not safe. Anyways, what you want to do is throw some rock Pikmin at him. Make sure you don't 
kill too many people. Oh, get up. Okay, this is not going well so far. Um, there is a move. There's a bunch of these moves that I keep remembering. Except I can't do them because I'm not like... I don't. You need data files for him. Oh, God. Okay, everyone get up. Uh, here's a cool little tactic. If you get the back of his tail, you can rush him. And get all your reds on him. I did not do very well at doing that, though. But I tried. And this is not good. We're in a bad position. But you can get the reds on his tail, and he's practically just dead. Uh, I don't think he's going to stay still. Alright, we'll try to charge him. Okay, that did not work at all. Uh, let's just throw. No, okay. Run back, run back. We have to stay cautious. Gotta stay cautious. They're not letting anyone die. I don't want to lose any Pikmin. These guys are not disposable to me. They're my friends. Okay, uh, I'm shaking right now. <laughs> you see me shaking? Okay, that was perfect. Look at that! Look at that! Oh, it was so good! That's probably going to kill him up there. Actually, I don't think it will. Okay, that's not going to kill him yet. We are doing really well right now. Where did it go? I don't know. It's probably up above you where the roof is falling down, you idiot. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. All right, here it comes. Here it comes. Perfect. What we're going to do, throw some rock Pikmin on him, and he's dead. Oh, that was flawless. That is the best I've ever done with this boss. Okay, I'm so proud of that. Wow. Okay, well, we did it, and the signal was not the captain, because he's dead, but it was a phone. So this was emitting that signal. But what does this mean for the captain's whereabouts? I guess for now we should take this back to the Drake for analysis. It might be of some use to us. Wow, that was very good. Uh, I don't know where those other two Pikmin are, though. Where are they? Wait, are they even here? Did we leave them behind? I think we actually... Oh, yeah, they're over here. Oh, yeah, we left them. All right, well, um, I guess... Oh, wait, no, what, okay, uh, sure, I guess you can do that. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to send Elf over here to get these guys. Because I feel bad. I, I didn't want to leave them last time, but now they shall be retrieved. But uh, I don't want you all to actually... You know, <laughs> this is very confusing right now. I'll just settle this right now. Okay, so who gets this? I say we, we let Rox get it. Because we need kind of... I need more rocks. Actually, I think we need more reds than rocks, but whatever. We'll, we'll settle with rocks for now. And they're stuck. Perfect. Uh, get some of you to go here. The fruit is enormous. I know, right? And then we'll get you guys to carry that. Alright. Actually, we won't send Elf, or we won't send Brittany, Brittany to go get that now, because um, we got to get that other fruit, and we need two captains for it. There's actually, like, three... Or no, there's two fruits there, but we can only get one now because uh, we need a certain type of Pikmin. Uh, it's extra cells made of crystal, and, you know, we collect these anyways, because why not? Um, actually, that's probably a, a place to hide. I've never thought of that before. But, you know, it's rush down move. is very dangerous if you don't get out of the way. Also, the move I was talking about was a roll. You can do, like, a, a dive roll, and um, it's very useful, but we don't have it. So that's kind of sad. We'll get it soon, though. I don't know when, but I know we'll get it. Also, we are inside the beast. That sounds quite odd, but whatever. And the other guys are far back, are they? They are. They're on my. I can check my map, and they're kind of far back. Now eh, they'll catch up. I'm sure they will. Yeah, there they are. The power of loading screens. Um. Yeah. Look at the dandelion. This game is so beautiful. Oh my god, I can't stress that enough. Uh, Alf, grab this. I think we got it last time. Did we? No. I don't even know what it says, but we're not going to see it. Because Alf's just going to get it himself, right? There you go. Actually, no, we'll see it. Uh, oh yeah, we already seen this. I think. I think we already saw that. But Red Pikmin are the, uh, the strongest fighters. Um, rocks deal more power. But reds are the stronger fighters because they latch on. Let's try not to take this guy out while we're here. I'm so shaky. Why am I so shaky? I am kind of in pain. I um I went to the dentist and uh, they adjusted my braces. It's like the worst. Braces aren't that bad, but once you when you get them adjusted, it's like oh. And I'm going on a trip like like when this goes up, I'll be on my trip. I'll be there for a week, hopefully, if I get it edited. I hope, hopefully I do. And rush. Oh, you missed. <laughs> it's fine, you got him. Perfect. Actually, you know what? Yeah, you, you take take him back too. 
And then there's some skitter leaves here. I uh, gotta take care of them because they're dangerous. I'm so shaky. Oh my god. I could use the gamepad, but I find the the uh, nunchuck and weave remote uh, quicker. Oh, and look at this. The onion stopped spitting out seeds. But the pigment inside the onion still seem to be increasing in numbers. Apparently, once the surface population reaches 100, new pigment are born from inside the onion. This means that a maximum of 100 pigment can be active outside of the onion at one time. There can be 100 pigment out on the surface at one time, but more can sprout inside the onion. So if we wanted to leave them here to, uh, to grow for a bit, uh, we'd have to put some away. But uh, we won't be coming back here um, for a while. Because uh, next time we come back here, I think we'll have all the Pikmin. I think. I'm not sure. Also, an <laughs> elf. He's just standing there. Oh, a message from the Drake. Analyzing recovered item. We're going to... The data glutton. Gluten. Glut, glutton. It's glutton. <laughs> We're going to juice this down, too. An ancient communication device used on this planet. It contains technology unknown to Kopai and is emitting a signal even now. I'll have Elf take. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'll have Elf take a look at it tonight to see if we have any use for it. He might have a few ideas with his engineer expertise. Alright, <laughs> he just plopped down. Uh, this is an enemy from Pikmin 3. Or, nope, Pikmin 2. Uh, it's a boss. Um, we can't fight him now, though, because he's in the water. And I don't think he'll leave. It can't jump when it's weighed down by Pikmin. That's very cool. So yeah, there's like a whole another area we can go. I think there's a boss in there actually. So that's very dangerous, like a mini boss. Oh god, what is that? Oh no, wait. <laughs> never mind. I heard the music and I got scared, but it was just that guy, and he's not gonna cause any problems for us. Oh, look at his tongue. Oh my gosh, I did not. That is dangerous. Okay, well, note to self: when we fight this thing eventually, go for the bulb on the back. Sorry, I'm just checking my Pikmin info. It's actually quite cool. I should put in a, a picture, or like a video of it. I'm gonna do that. And a, ca a camera. Oh. So I'm just kidding about that other thing, because I, uh, I have no space on my phone. <laughs> uh, that's sad. I have to delete some stuff. It, like, I swear, Fire Emblem Heroes, that, that's what messes me up so much, you know? Oh god! Oh no, he's fine, okay. I thought that one on the bottom was gonna get crushed, but nah. It was just a kiwi. Grab the kiwi, and uh, once that gets back, we are done with this place. And we can't go over here because uh, electrical gate. <laughs> I think I'll keep my distance. Good plan. Uh, but yeah, actually, you guys help him. You know a cool thing though, because uh, we we have nothing to do. Actually, I'll make I'll make Brittany uh, go over here to get these guys. Here's what I figured out. I forgot this was a feature. I never used it before. Uh, a camera. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, it uses Miiverse. <laughs> well, time to uh, find a thumbnail. Actually, I think the thumbnail will be the boss. But I'm going to use that for future thumbnails. That's actually really cool. Anyways, for the rest of the day, I'm just going to focus on getting more Pikmin. And uh, yeah, I guess that's kind of boring. So I guess I, I'll like skip ahead and I'll play some music. That's everything here, I believe. So, uh, let's just put everyone back, see how many we have. Alright, 73 reds and um, 98 rocks. That's pretty good. Alright, well, um, when you have nothing to do, um, what you can do is just go end day and boom. And now your day is done and you don't have to wait around for like however long you need. But yeah, that's pretty convenient. And we got, this was a good day. This was great. Alright. Hee hee hee, new fruit, yes! The Fire Breathing Feast. This is a dragon fruit, IRL. I've never had a dragon fruit before. 
I wonder what they taste like. Mm, nice pink. Are they really pink on the inside though? I I have no idea. I would think they're like a yellowy color. I've never even I don't even think I've seen a dragon fruit in real life. I don't even know if they're actually called dragon fruit or if that's just what people like nickname them. Cause they could be like the uh the fruit of the pink. And it was a zest bomb. It's a kiwi. A kiwi? No, lime. It's a lime. Not a kiwi. I think there are kiwis in this game. But that's a lime. Look at our assortment of colors. We've earned a card today, so now it's time for our reward! Oh, drink it down, nice! Nice! This is great! We actually have a little bit of juice buffer. Also, the end of this game, the ending, really it depends on how many fruit you have near the end. If you have, like, zero fruit going back, you get a bad ending. If you have some fruit, it's like, eh... It's the okay ending, and if you, I think if you get all of it, uh, you get the great ending. So that's very good. But I don't know if it matters on the amount of stuff you have or not. We'll see. We have recovered a communication device that was inside Amrit Madad. According to Alf, this device contains parts that may extend the Drake's communication range. I've never seen him so excited. I'm more, more than happy to write today's report while Alf examines the device. Sometimes he can be so diligent. And we're on day four. Pretty good. And we have unlocked Canada. Yay, it's Charlie's death home place. His place of death. Brilliant, Alf, you expanded the direct receiver range. Ah, uh, thanks. They don't call me the keen engineer for nothing. Nobody calls you that. I know. Wow, that's sad. The origin of the signal is unclear. Maybe it's the captain. We should investigate this at once. Good idea, Alf. Let's do it. And next, we're going to go to the distant tundra. This is where things start to pick up speed. This is where it starts to get kind of challenging. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty scared. I've got to say, I'm kind of scared. But, you know, as long as you guys are here with me... I can get past any obstacle. Yeah, the power of friendship. We high five. That was a high five. Anyways, next time we're going to go try to find Charlie, even though he's dead. We're going to try, try to find his corpse, you know, bury him, have a nice little memorial. Uh, but yeah, um, I will see you then. See ya.